I'm Jules Kim from Be Jules from New York. Welcome. Bienvenue à Paris. <laughs> um, I wanted to introduce you to the collection, and as you can see here at the La Kik showroom in the Marais, I've sort of divided the collection on silhouette. As opposed to exposing a new collection this season, I wanted to dive into my archive and expose the theories that I've been using for almost the last 10 years. So we look here, and I start here, and I think you guys have seen, who's that, is that you? No. <laughs> oh, it's someone's iPhone. The, the bar ring, which is a single finger fit and a multi-finger look, and so every season... Wow, it's new with the stone, no? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, so this is yours, but with the stone, yeah. and I'll talk about that too. But so basically what I've done is sort of take taken the theory of a ring, which is something that embraces the body and only this certain part of the finger. So normally it's just a single finger and then it sort of sits there and it does what it's meant to do is just sort of accentuate who you are. And with the bar ring, what I wanted to do is make more of a stronger statement, but still feel like a normal standard ring. So now every season I can totally change the look and make it thinner, make it with stones. This one, made for Rihanna, looks like a little icicle. Um, and so basically this goes... Is it goes, called the Rihanna? No. <laughs> uh, no. This one is called Glaçon. So this is my little ode to La Francie. Um, but basically, these bar rings go across the hand. And since they go across, this season I wanted to create a new silhouette that would sort of take or journey the direction down the hand because what I'm doing is I'm using the body as undiscovered territory and as a designer it's our job to confront obstacles and make them uh, seem seamless and without effort and so with the bar rings basically that was my first first journey into solving a problem. You'd also done the plastic ones, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do plastic yeah. ones uh, called Le Biche for Urban Outfitters. Mm -hmm. um, and then here we can see these are the nail rings, and I'm super known for these guys. Conceptually, it's basically about embellishing what you already have, and it's a squeeze to fit notion. So basically, uh, black box. about putting like uh, sticky glue, nail glue, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now we're making it more haute couture. So this is squeeze to fit. It's about um, having a choice to, I remember when I was a child, I was like, wow, okay, I just want to be a woman. That would be so cool. Let me put some Lee Press on nails on. And then when, <laughs> you remember? Yeah, Did you used to do that too? Yeah. <laughs> and so when I was a woman, I was like, wait, so I still have this like, this deep feeling that I want to be brighter, better, and sexier. And now that I'm a woman, how do I do that? And so I said, make that shit in gold. So what I did was make it in gold, but I made it adjustable. And then I put the snake on there, which is completely relevant for the year of the snake, by the way. Of course, well, was the first thing I noticed when mm -hmm. I came in here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's really cool, the feedback that I've been getting from the Chinese customers. What's your Chinese sign? I'm a goat. Which, goat. when you read it, I'm completely not a goat. Everything oh. that it says, I am the complete inverse of. Wow. Yeah. I'm a cock. <laughs> it's a rooster in, in French. <laughs> You're hilarious. So with this, with this direction, basically, it goes across the hand. And so two years ago, I launched another collection called Il Futuro. And basically what I did was sort of take the standards of my past collections and implemented new ideas into them. So with the bar ring, I could have made another bar ring. That would be super, super simple. But what I did was sort of move the direction, which is horizontal across the hand, down the hand. So now this is a bracelet for the hand, but it doesn't fit and then close around the bottom. It actually opens. So it's a squeeze to fit, once again, sort of like the nail ring. And now this season, um, I'm making a bold statement by not launching a collection. Um, I make, I'm making a bold statement um, about being a designer and we work on a schedule 
and we try to be super diligent about putting out new ideas every season consistently. And I always put out new ideas, but this season what I wanted to do was include others, so involve other artists to give and feed me input. Because as a designer, what we do is we absorb ideas, and then our body and our mind is our filter, and then our output is the manufactured product. For me, I've been doing that process for almost 10 years, so now what I wanted to do was create a series of videos. And with that videos, basically that is the content, that is the new work that I've developed this season. And what I wanted to do um, was look at the calendar, take a step away from the calendar, like I said, when I was, I just met you when you came in here, sometimes I get super, super anxious when I'm not on time, or super anxious when I say I'm going to do something and I'm not physically, because of others, able to do it. And um, so this season I took a big leap of faith with other artists, and basically when I looked at the calendar I see, okay, it was spring summer 2014, I'm excited to launch a new jewelry collection. I've been working in different materials. I've been working with gold, I've been working with silver, diamonds, black diamonds, black opals, um, hiding the diamonds, all these different placements and materials. And um, this season, instead of making a jewelry collection made of metal, I made moving image with the collaborative efforts of four other So when can I see the films? Yeah. We can see the films on the Vimeo channel. Send me the links. Yeah, I'll definitely so I send you the links. Um, but basically, when I took a s step back and looked at the calendar, I'm like, okay, spring, summer 14 is rolling around. So let me make something amazing. And then as a New Yorker, I don't know if the whole world heard or is it just Lower Manhattan, but we encountered a natural disaster. No, the whole world did here. The whole here. world, okay. Sandy. Yeah, Sandy. <laughs> so when I was in the darkness for seven days... Oh, um, God. Mm -hmm, no electricity, no water? No water. No heat. No heat. Um... I have a really senior aged dog, and he's oh, my baby. So he died? I, no, no, he's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine because I stayed in the house and yeah. took care of him. And my my boyfriend, who's also a fellow artist, um, when we were in the darkness, there came all this lightness from the situation and from our friends. Like you couldn't go walk up the street and go see your friend because, well, A, you risk her not being there, B, you don't have a phone to call her and tell her you're coming, C, there is no buzzer, there's no electricity, so I wound up throwing my phone at the window, <laughs> picking up, like, wow. rocks on the street, like, going back to the human basics, and me, I've never been that put in my place ever in my life, and so this situation and this whole encounter with forced change, that nature was like, you know what, doesn't matter how much you make, doesn't matter where you live. Well, it did. If you lived uptown, you were okay. Yeah, you were okay. <laughs> but then there are plenty of people who spent more money to live where they are in Tribeca, and they, know, they had to encounter the same yeah. issues that I had to encounter, even though I am an artist, and they might be a hedge fund guy. So basically, it's this whole situation sort of brought us all down to the same level, and when the lights came on, it was so amazing. I was walking my dog in the darkness with a flashlight. <clears throat> and um, oh, I have one of my art collector friends coming up. Hey, come here. Yeah, come here. Um, I won't keep you too long. No, 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 Diane, it's, he's really amazing too. I want to introduce you to him. Um, but basically it put us all on the same level and I was walking the dog and the lights came on and the whole Lower East Side was like, ah, The friend comes in. Yes. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Ciao.